so kind of winding down my winter. And this is the view. There's the copper horse with the green roof way back there. This is the Methodist school, that's the Catholic school. Back there is the ferries to the islands. And I walk this every day. Yeah. Hanging out. The bay is shallow. The wind is pretty brisk. So it does have uh, kind of white caps, but it's too shallow for good white caps. Just a little rough. But every day, nearly every day, this is my walk. Walks the water. Yeah. Hair off, out, flapping in the wind. There's dolphins out there, fish. I'm sure there's some sharks. Yeah. But it's pretty shallow. Not much of that bay. It's much over 10 feet. Most of it's under 10 feet. This daily water splashing up over the wall. We got pretty good ice cream here. Yeah, every day. We'll walk you back to the car for those. We're coming up to a place that's always kind of been kind of to me around traditional Mayan house foundation. Yeah. There you go. There you go. See the round Mayan house foundation? And the weed sticks uh, horizontally through the uprights and either vertical ones or suckle. Hey Pops! Okay. How you doing buddy? I'm doing Are you? Yeah. Yeah, me too. Over here, right? Yeah, I'm going over there. I went to Al's for breakfast. That's Pops. He sells food. He goes to one bakery, fills up his basket, drives around selling it. He goes to a restaurant, they'll make him a basket of sandwiches, he goes around selling it. He'll go to another place, same thing. It's work or starve. That's all he got here, work or starve. You drive around selling something, you stand selling something, you work in a field, you work or you starve, or you work or you beg. Beggars. Hmm. Anyways, fancy, uh, after the fancy brown tile building is immigration. Here's Liz's place with the red three wheeler. And uh, they walk us to uh, the Copper Horse. Yeah. I should probably catch up on my video loads. These are, this is my last few days in Belize for this winter. Um, they got a big heat wave coming, 40 degree weather, uh, all through the Caribbean, which means the water is going to heat up, which means the storms are going to be some powerful this year. So that's good. Clean up a lot of the dilapidated shit. And uh, well, it's never good, but. Um, yeah, good time to buy after a hurricane. You know what's strong and what isn't. <laughs> That's for sure. What isn't strong, you just buy and make it strong. There's some land. It'll be for sale one day. There's rum punch. Um, a learning. 
Maybe guys from state United States bought this rum punch. And, uh, I think it's nine rooms and uh, two they use to live in. And uh, two are being renovated, so they got five, but they're vacant. But they're mostly full. But when they bought it, they didn't get the rights to the name. So they're only using the name for now and they got to re brand. Hey guys. Hey man. Yeah. Here's the top of the horse up there. There's the water. The wind blew all the lights off the uh, promenade's uh, lamp post, so they got street lights now. All of these. Yeah, there we are. And this is, we're coming up to the copper horse. Yeah. Sure could do the coat of paint. Needs, needs some work for sure. Definitely needs some work. Yeah. Yeah. Copper horse. Hey, honey. It's getting warm today. Yeah, it's going to be really hot. 40 degrees next week. Yeah. That's okay. Well, let's go. <laughs> you don't need clothes. Close the door. We'll close the door. And I'll throw my clothes in there and we'll go. <laughs> Just get me. Okay, I'm going upstairs. Get me when you're ready. Come get me when you're ready. Oh, okay, okay, there you go. <laughs> yeah, Marlene. She's the day manager. That, that goes upstairs to the rooftop bar. And uh, this house should be bought for sure. If it, well, it can, everything can be bought. So I go through here. And this, this has changed from what the original design was. This used to be a solid wall. And that used to be the bathroom. Well, that used to be a bathroom without a wall. Here was the entrance. And I thought about this. So this would have had uh, two bunk beds, so for four people, for the bathroom. Kind of a hostel area. Uh, girls got locked up rooms, guys slept on bunk beds. My room's kind of a mess. Oh, whatever. Yeah. Winding down my time in Belize. A few more days. And then I gotta figure out where I'm staying. Who I'm staying with. What I'm doing. Yeah.